Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesforce and this is Rohit and today I'm going to discuss about the Agent 4 testing center. So if you are new in this channel, so please like, share, comment, subscribe the channel, also turn on the bell icon for, for more updates. So you never will miss any kind of update from my side. So before starting this video, I will tell you one thing. So if you are using like a scratch org and uh, you know sandbox, then you will be see this option that is testing center for the agent force. Okay. But uh, in normal org, maybe it it not be available. So please take care about this point. Right. So let's get started without any further delay. So first of all, I will show you the negative and positive testing scenario, how we can test our agent. So it's a very easy and very useful. So we can use it. So first of all, in the quick find, just you have to do one thing. Here, you have to search like test. And under the quick find, you can see like testing center. So this is the, you know, option to test your agent here. So there is a no testing cases available here. And how we can test our, you know, agent. So very simple, just click on the new test and it asking the test name so let's say test one and here you will be see lots of you know agent so based on your org and the agent will be listed here right so uh in my case i'm using this as uh, you know agent for default version one so you have to select uh, any agent as you have for now i'm using this agent default version one also please provide the description is a very most important part because nowadays Salesforce working on the AI, so description is a very most important. So testing purpose now. Now here I'm ty uh, typing like a testing for the agent, something like that. Click on the next, and here so in context to variable, I will show you in upcoming videos how we can use it. So for as of now, I'm not using this one. So please uh, leave it these things. So click on the next. Here you can see lots of options. So which one we have to choose in which scenario, right? So if you don't want any kind of, you know, a testing scenario and uh, don't worry about the, you know, each and every use cases. So you can just use this generate test cases and uh, Salesforce agent automatic AI automatic create the test cases for this agent so don't worry about like uh, we have to create from the scratch you can use this one i will show you in the last this one option so first of all we have to understand this upload test cases using the csv file so here you can see like use this testing template to create a csv file or test cases and upload the template so here you can see small you know link so just you have to click on this template one i already downloaded so here you can see this is the template this is for negative scenario because in my org, I don't have this, uh, you know, record as force one. That's why you will be see these things here in the agent. So I have three cases for the negative scenario, like to find the record as force one, find the account record as force one, find as force one, something like that. Once you downloaded the template, you will be see the alterants and expected topic, expected actions, expected response. So these four columns you will be seeing your template. So based on your need, you can change accordingly, right? So just let's move into the org and let me upload. This is the one, right? So let me check which one is the first one. So normal test one, we have to select this, open it. And here, after a few seconds, it will be so like upload file successfully. Click on the done and click on the next save and run so once you clicked on the save and run now behind the scene salesforce run the test cases for this agent so let's see in the excel so it's still in progress you can see the status like in progress duration topic pass action percentage response percentage these all percentage okay and all the information find out here one by one because we have three test cases in my csv file that's why you can see three test cases available here in the all test result so expected topic actual topic topic the result something you can learn from here as well right so let me refresh this page and let's see the output so once you refresh it now you will be see the result so status as a complete duration 14 seconds 
topic pass percentage 100 percent action pass 100 percent and response pass 100 percent because it's a negative test scenario that's why you can see like a topic test pass 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 green right and this is the topic i will show you the topic how we can find out and how we can identify the which topic is related to which action right so just think about it here you can see the actual output everything you can see the pass and record should not be found these all things and here you can see the pass pass everything like it seems there is no record matching in Xbox one because we don't have this record in my own if you search in the home and open the account object account records so just search here like account click on the accounts and click on the all accounts right so here let's see uh, the records so you cannot find out any you know s force one like s force one so let me start this one so here nothing to see here it means we don't have this record so that's why negative scenario is passed because we don't have these records right so how uh, we can identify which action and topics pass so let me open the you know agent so everything is changed by the salesforce like agent force agent this is the agent agent asset is the action okay so let me open this one agent right so there are so many agents in my org so i can select my you know testing agent so this is the default one let me click on this and once you open this agent so now here you can see lots of information regarding this agent let me open the open builder this agent so in the builder we can see this agent right so this is the version 2 let me change the version you can directly change the version from here as well so reload it and once you reload it now you can see the topics so we have two topics as of now for this agent like general crm and single record summary once you click on the general crm and click on the topic action now you can see the number of actions available here for this you know agent and definitely whenever we can write our query like uh, or we can just use our you know this one so just copy it and paste it here and hit the end tab key so after uh, processing you will be see the output actual output what we can expect it so here you can see it seems there is a no record regarding this as force one and here in the you know this agent builder canvas you can see that this is the our topic name like general crm after that you can see the action so action is identify record by name so you have to take care about these two things in your template so that's why you you can see in my template like like expected topic general crm expected action this is the identify record by the name so you have to keep in your mind whenever you prepare your csv file in your org right and this is the expected response because uh, already matched with the help of you know this one like no record found something like that okay that's why you cannot see any result here and it's a pass the test because of this record is not available in, in the org okay so this is the negative scenario let's see the positive scenario how we can test this agent using the positive template okay so let me move the next template and here you can see same template but uh, i just changed like to find the record as false previously it was like s force one right now you can see the s force it means this record definitely available once you copy it and just search it from here and hit the enter key now definitely you will be see the you know record available in the org so here you can see the record and under the account we have this s force right and let's see the topic is general crm and action is identify record by name right so same thing we have to test it using the template so how you have three test cases like uh, ultra range you can see the three test cases expected topic this is the common general crm topics and this is expected actions right so let's see let me remove this one thing try to understand what i'm doing here right so just let me save this save as a csv because it's always expected you know this csv file so i have this expected action like identify record by name okay let's see in the action go to the testing center right so this is the our test one 
for the negative testing. Let me move to the positive testing, how we can test actual record, right? So click on the new and here, let's say test two. And which agent you want to test? So I want to test this agent for default one version. Click on the next, skip this option right now. And here I need to upload it. So this time I can use my template one. And here in the template one, because this is a template one, you have to verify it and it's successfully uploaded. Click on the next, save and run. And after some time, you will be see the result here. Right? So it's still in progress. And we have, you know, these three test cases for this you know, agent. And also you can see the progress like this test is, is still in progress. Right. Just let me refresh this page. And once you refresh it, now you can see the result like uh, uh, complete and this is 100% pass, action pass, everything is passed, right? Like this. And also you can see these all things, right? Everything is passed. And this is the unidentified record by name, right? So suppose this is a positive scenario because we already find out the S4 record of the account object. Okay, that's why you can see this pass result, everything is green. Your CSV file, I will show you the next one, how we can use predefined generative AI, you know, uh, testings. So just click on the new and let me add the test, like say, test eight. And this is a gen default one version one, click next. And this time, previously we used like upload test cases using CSV file. Now it's time to learn the second option. So second option here you can see generate test cases. Number of test cases I want 20. By default is 20, but you can give based on your need. And this is a selective to topics. So here you can see selected topics here, right? So by default is selected. Based on your need, you can manually select or you know unchecked or checked, something like that. Select or unselect, right? So just click on the next and save and generate the test. Let's see. So this is generated by the generative AI test cases. So no need to create your test cases using CSV file. It's automatic created by the Salesforce agent force, right? Generative AI. So just refresh it. So it's still running. You can see they're creating test cases. So it will take some time because it's a 20 test cases. So it, it depends on your network bandwidth. So don't worry about it. Right, so just refresh it. So here you can see 20 test cases here, right? So it's created by the generative AI for the Salesforce. Now let's, so no need worry about to create your template and write single line of, you know, test cases one by one. As uh, I already did like uh, three test cases in the two CSV file. So this is automatic created by Salesforce here you can see, right? So how we can run it. So just click on the run test suite. So test suite is running, it's still in progress. And after some time, you will be see the result here, right? So here you can see generated, 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 right? So just refresh it. So you will be see all the testing in a single place. And it's very handy and good feature to test your agent. Also, I will create lots of video regarding the agent force, uh, how we can test or how to create the agent using VS Code, uh, I will create the lots of video in the upcoming, you know, weeks. So please keep in touch and it, let's see in the action this all. So just refresh it. Still is running. You can see lots of test cases because it's a test suit. So suit always comes more than one test cases in single bundle. Okay. So let's see after some time. Now, finally, you can see the result of the test suit. So its status is complete, duration 3 minutes 27 seconds, 100% passed, action 85, response pass 70%. So you can check each and every cases here whenever you scroll. And now some test cases failed and most of the test cases is passed. So you can identify which one is, you know, failed or passed. So you can modify based on your requirement. So you can run the like a uh, test suit here. So this is how you can test the agent using CSV file or you can create your own CSV template.
and you can upload that template into the Salesforce. Also, we have another features that is generate test suite, and based on the UI or AI, it's automatic created number of test cases based on your accents and topics. Right. So this is how you can test your agent force or agent okay in salesforce so guys i hope you learned something new in this video if you feel like this is the very more informative for us so please like share comment subscribe the channel also turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never miss any kind of update from my side so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys